most companies order their trucks fleet specs. They order those trucks bare minimum because they want to get the job done and they're not really worried about the creature comforts. I'm going to show you what the trucks look like when they're ordered by a truck driver. Let's talk about it. Coming up. This is just one of the 2022 International LT 73-inch high-rise sleeper trucks that Cheeseman got in. Who knows what the LT stands for? Throw it in the comments if you do. Starting at the back, truck's got like every other truck, mud flaps, LED tail lights, Michelin tires, Fontaine fifth wheel, all normal stuff. There won't be any misadjusted slack adjusters because this truck has disc brakes all the way around. Here's what that greasy thing looks like before they put anything on it. This is a Fontaine sliding fifth wheel. This allows you to adjust for weight. Of course, we have airbag suspension, so you can drop your suspension if you need to get out from under a trailer. On the left side, we've got a set of steps, which makes it a lot easier to get up onto that deck to be able to hook up your air and electrical lines to the trailer. A set of LED work lights really makes things easier at night. International puts the fiberglass whip antennas on the back of the sleeper. Then we have the quarter fenders. Cheeseman uses Michelin tires on the drives of all of its over-the-road trucks. 100-gallon diesel tanks on both sides of the truck. An outside accessible cabinet that you can store your gloves, your fluids, your bar that you need to take out your blocks. And look down there at the bottom corner. See that little plug-in? That's shore power. That's so if you're at a terminal, you can plug in your truck. Attached to the frame on the right side of the truck, we've got a Merit aluminum box that you can store things in, like your blocks and your straps, and it's lockable. Moving around to the front of the truck, we've got that nice, good-looking chrome bumper. And those are heated hood mirrors. That's right, heated hood mirrors. When we tilt the hood, we're going to find that Cummins X15 tried and true motor with clean California certified idle, governed at 70 miles an hour on the pedal and the cruise. You really don't know how necessary these sun visors are until you've driven a truck that has one. LED headlights, so you can be able to see at night. These international trucks are equipped with the Bendix safety system, which gives you adaptive cruise control and collision mitigation braking. We have our HVAC system for when the truck is not idling. It's nice and quiet. And of course, we have the windows on both sides of the truck. Before we move on to the inside, let's take a second to appreciate a line of brand new trucks that haven't hauled anything yet. Look at that. Not even logoed. Shop's getting busy getting all these logos on and doing last minute tweaks and checking everything out and making sure there's no problems from the factory. Look at this. It's still got the plastic on it. Nothing beats the having a well-equipped truck when you're on the road. This is our home away from home. Ordering creature comforts in a sleeper pays off because you have a happier driver. You can always tell when a truck has been ordered by a driver versus when a truck has been ordered by somebody trying to pinch a few pennies in that front office and save a few bucks. In addition to the regular gauges, you've got the center part, which is digital. Now, these are from my truck, but you can see we can see our axle load, and we can also set up our own customizable gauges, along with weather and the distance to empty. Ever get in a truck and they're full of blanks instead of switches? Not in these trucks. These trucks are loaded. We've got a lot of buttons, gauges, and things to show you. Let me do it real quick. Got your trailer auxiliary, we got your lane keep assist cancel, we got your no idle auto start, a USB plug, a 12 volt plug, oil temperature gauge, and your charge. Your trolley brake, AM, FM, XM, weather band radio with USB and Bluetooth connectivity, PDL lock, off road, and your hill assist override. Dome light control, sleeper light, and night light controls. Suspension air dump, really important to have. Hazard lights or an eject button. The sleeper air conditioner and fan controls. 
the fifth wheel slide release, the hood mirror heat control, and of course the heater and air conditioner controls for the pilot, I mean driver. There are three 12 volt outlets and three USB outlets. Standard controls for the power door locks, power windows, heated mirrors, mirror controls to move them up and down. The headlight controls even have an automatic setting. Radio controls, which will also control your phone when it's connected by Bluetooth. Controls for the adaptive cruise control. And these are two of my favorites. One blinks your parking lights and the other one blinks your headlights, you know, to say thank you when you pass somebody. In a sleeper, you've got a TV mount and some really large cabinets. These cabinets are on both sides, same size, they're very large. When I had my other truck, this is the way I had my cabinets set up with these containers, made everything easy. On the back wall, you have control for the heat, air conditioning temperatures, fan. You have control for the lighting, that's the dome lights, the accent lights, the night lights. At the bottom, you have a radio and you have your inverter control plus a 12 volt outlet. While the bed does raise up so you can get to the storage and the heater and the air conditioner, it also has a part of the storage that you can get to without raising the bed. This is very convenient. There's that TV mount. It's got a 12 volt outlet next to it. And there, see the plugs down there? We have a 1800 watt pure sine wave inverter. Behind the driver's seat, you have a cabinet, which is your wardrobe cabinet. On top of it, you can put your microwave, which you would tie down. We got our place for our CB. Above that, we've got a little cabinet. And above that, we have a paper towel holder. How neat is that? Plus a couple of cubbies to store things. This truck has a lot of storage space. Behind the passenger seat is a spot where you could put a mini fridge, like a dorm size mini fridge, lots of space. Got a lot of cup holders too. Two in the console, one in each door. There's even a couple cup holders up at the top of the bed. The premium mattress will be getting installed right here. Got the stereo speakers there on the back wall. Then we've got the place where you'll tie down your microwave. It's got a strap. You can cinch it down nice and tight. Got a reading light that you can move around. Got the windows on both sides so you can clearly see out. And of course, you've got window shades that you can put up, blackout curtains, which help keep the light and noise coming out if you have to do some daytime sleeping. And of course, air conditioner and heater vents on both sides, head and foot, and at the bottom of the bed. The driver's side air seat, of course, raises and lowers, but it has three airbag lumbar supports in the back. And you see these buttons up here in the front? Those control the heater. That's right, we got a butt warmer in this truck. And the seats may look black, but they call this black cherry. Paid for every mile, loaded or unloaded. Hazmat miles pay. Layover pay, 34 hour reset pay, holiday pay, vacation pay. How could it get better? Cheeseman just announced a second pay increase for 2022. Takes effect in May. I guess the shop better hurry up and get logos on those new trucks.